All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Sorry for the late start, just got a little technical difficulties that we had to fix. But, uh, we're back. And we found that last area. Now all I gotta do is go back and, uh, find... Full K. So we can continue on, finally, with with uh, Oxenifold Shire. It's a beautiful night here in England. Okay, how do I get through here? Need a key. Note. Uh, oh. Key in the pocket of my trousers before washing. Okay. So where's the wash? Who's where are they washed at? Or are they hanging? What the fuck? Oh no! Maybe I can get it through here? No. It's not in a pig this time. Hold on. Okay, so it says, whatever that name is, just a small reminder to take the pocket out of my, uh, the, take the key out of my trouser pocket before washing. I tire of searching through the muck every time. With affection, with love and affection. So the muck being where? And where do they wash the clothes? They usually have a designated area for that. Do I need to slaughter another pig? I guess this can work. Screw it. Come on. There we go. Oh, uh, excuse me? Oh, there's a snake right there. Oh, I still need the key even though I'm inside. I don't see the point in having two doors like that. Alright, come on horse, Ragnar. We go. Down this way. <laughs> oh, 
All right, if you K or full K, you mad woman. Full K. Are you now prepared to see the stone? Yes. Let us go see the slab of rock. You may find the stone more interesting than you expect. Okay. <laughs> I might w buy one of the specialty mounts, why not, at some point. What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods. As do all the artifacts I collect for You my prayed church. to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loves you? For preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus, or Yaldabaoth, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Saclus and his kind were wise in their time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Very strange. I wonder if she's talking about what I think she's talking about. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. up ahead. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Yeah, sorry to tell you this, Full K, but I think he's uh he's not here because I I've been here before. He's uh he, he he's not with us anymore. Brother Paul, are you here? Ransacked from floor to roof. Bessem, stand guard outside. This was Edwin's mm. doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within. I asked Paul to hide it well. This is this him, your acolyte, Paul? My dearest. May you live as one with the true God, in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You! Always questioning, second-guessing my wishes! You slowed us down, and I missed my chance! Patience, brother. We will find this stone wherever it is. Right or wrong, you will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eivor. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. Jesus. Sigurd's lost his mind. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. 
Lady Edwin. A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade that stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Giedrich our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Avon! No! Cut them down! Leave none alive! Son of a bitch! Avon, are you mad? Edwin, please. We had our chance! We will speak of this, Avon. I will not forget. Quit your threat, Sigrid. Even get up here without a seat. Crossbowmen, get back here and face me. Get back, you hellion. Off with his head. like a pole arm. That's smart, but... Ooh! Give me that, and through the throat. Aver, you mock-minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. <clears throat> Stay out of this. Enough! If it wasn't clear why Sigurd is in command, it is now. Your temper runs too hot, Wolfkist. You want to settle things with Basim, you call a home gang. Else you follow me. You listen to me, you do as I ask. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Giedrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along, yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. Sit here and bemoan your fate, brother. I have a promise to keep, and I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. Come, Basim. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we moved as one. As family. As kin. 
I have always known his mind, and he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You fought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Giedrich asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd. Brother. You are lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. Yeah, this is why, uh, this is why you don't keep your people in the dark on the plan. Never do that. Ever. If they're supposed to be, like, your second. Oh. Oh, it's already, it's already equipped, okay. Uh, she is at Eton Barn. Where is that? Right here. <laughs> Wait a minute, why am I going this way? But yeah, never do that. Th that's a problem Rob Stark had. That's a problem that Sigurd has. That's a problem that a lot of people seem to have for some reason. Just keep people informed. And it's not like Eivor didn't ask. It'd be a different question if they just never ask. I really need to upgrade my horse's stamina. Alright, here we go. We're getting close. Less than. Ah, shit! Yeah. Wolves! Wolf packs can really fuck you up. Dear man, there's Fulke. For that is where you will be if these supplies reach her castle. It's for the good of your Shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new author. How about a story? I'll spin you a tail in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up! Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wane eye, stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, isn't it? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold, wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake coils. Loki yowls. Poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run, go! How does it end? They all die. <laughs> uh, you gotta love being able to scare Christians like that. 
We can use these oil jars to surprise the soldiers. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. They will attack on sight here. <clears throat> Alright, so that's near the hay. That's definitely near the hay. Let's pick this up. Take this over here. Uh, that's good. Do I need arrows? No, I'm full on arrows. What about that? Place oil jars to set traps. This will just ignite everything here. Huh. I think we're good, sorta. I guess we can do this and put this here to just sort of quicken the pace. What was that? My howl. Edwin's mad approach. are close. That overhanging branch is a good vantage for a first strike. I want to get them like right smack They're dab here. in the middle. There we go, as it should be, and shit. Oh, how'd I catch on fire from up here? There we go. You're new. What are you using? I'm with you. Cut them down, Here we go. Okay, we're good. Wait, follow her to the cliff top. What do we need to do? Ugh. Oh no! What's up? 
Okay. She is a huge one. That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? That is nonsense. Sometimes I wonder. I worry about your sanity. Okay, I know what she means. She means the Isu. Which the first civilization. I have seen no signs of it. Eivor probably is, because she can use eagle sense. But... And that's the only reason why you can use eagles, eagle vision. But... You spend too much time locked in that fed itself, okay? Weeks of fasting and prayer and abstinence can clarify that which we otherwise fail to see. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Giedrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. All right, off we go. Really? All right, you know what? Oh, oh, wait, it might, never mind. There, jeez. Come on, boy. But, yeah, most, I'm not gonna say definitely he is, but technically the only reason people can use eagle, uh, like eagle vision in the first place, any form of it, is they have more Isu DNA in them than most people. So Eivor is, Bayek is, Cassandra is, every mainline assassin is, but, uh, I don't know about uh, Sigurd. Look, lads! Uh, there's Eivor! See that our We're with you, Eivor! Oh, enough for everyone. Twenty to a man! To stop us. Long live Giedrich! Giedrich! Eivor! Giedrich! Eivor! Have you dealt Edwin a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. By my joints and ankles. That's a good one. Um, okay, so where are we supposed to go? Fine. And weaken the castle's defenses. Alright, so what? where is the castle at? Down here? Hey, there's no need for this. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're looking for oil cauldrons and probably ballistas. Let's check out here, although I doubt there would be anything. Go. Yeah, as doubted, nothing there, but right here, yes. The castle keep looks impregnable. That will be Edwin's last stand. I forget I can sprint and run. Sprint and run. Squat and run. Run squats. I need so your eyes. Right exactly friend. there. So we can get up through there, through that tree. Somebody in the arrow tower, but they're facing the other way, which is good. All right, I'm in. All right, so what am I looking for exactly? Maybe if I, do, no, I don't have any, uh, can I just throw a torch at it? That did nothing. Maybe if I just torch right here, just, just toss it. Nope, that doesn't do anything. Okay. So I might be able to get a better vantage point from over here. Good. Shit. Ah! Okay. Precise shot. This is this is weird. Good. Over there Have now. A look, Sunan. So a couple over there. One of the main gatehouse. <laughs> There's no real way to like that so there we go
One more. I do need arrows. Hopefully there's some in here. Oh no. Pull up, pull up. There we go. Okay. There's more to be done, but this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Giedrich to lead his men. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna do a little bit more. Come on. Hey. Won't take long! <laughs> There we go. I can be stealthy when I want to be. I just don't often want to be. Good, return to Giedrich. And that's back there. So we might as well just try to sneak our way out. <laughs> uh, there we go, we're good. And nobody can hear this, right? Nobody can just hear a mad woman breaking rocks outside. Okay, Giedrich, all is well. All is ready. Prepare the fjord. Okay, let's see if they got something cooking on a pot just so I can have some extra... Maybe not, maybe they don't. It's cool. Y'all didn't expect to be here that long, I get you. I, I get say you. we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurd Jarl, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight! Now! Dear Lord You're Sigurd. You're a good man, Sigurd, and I'm thankful for all you've done. But without Eivor, I make no moves. We wait. Don't have to wait long. Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I'm here to speak with Giedrich. Go on then. Your master awaits. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions. I'll sacrifice to tear this day, 
the Lord of Justice, the harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's importance. Read well. We are ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back. Right to what we go. Finish this before Alfred brings his men up here. It's funny because, like, no matter how much they may have hated the Danes, like the Viking invasions, they most of England actually hated Alfred more. Because they actively, or Alfred actively, wanted to bring all of England into the fold. Where are these links I gotta shoot? Quick, quick! Now! Take the castle! Spare no more! Alright, let's keep moving. I gotta get that gatehouse open. Keep moving! I'll make sure the momentum keeps going. Oh my god. Shit, how do we get up there? How do we get up there? Same way we did before. Managed to kill some of their archers while I was in there too, so that's great. Your life for that. I'll stay your welcome. Oh, she followed me up here. Pull them off. Straight. Take out those ballistas. Lady. Lady. She has bodyguards. It's okay, they're no match. Defeat Edwin. Edwin, you won't get away this time. Focus on her. We will use your flesh as mulch for our crops. Go 
Surely your guard, wherever he hides. Jesus, she doesn't fly. Come here. There we go. You felled the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Heal her wounds, dress her in rags, and send her out onto the heath in exile. You are banished from Mercia, without family, without rank, without friends to comfort you. I will walk the roads until my feet are bloody, dreaming of cutting out your rotten lungs. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you'll do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way. And he won't be alone. Alright, let's look around. I gotta regroup with Tigger and Bassam in full K. I don't know where they are, actually. Wait, I, I was just there. I was literally just in there. Right, let's take a look. There's a couple more things in here. Is that actually in here? Yeah. Two more pieces of loot. Mm, I feel great. I cannot tell where that is, but it should be close. It's in here. How do I get up there? Up. Okay. Take our loot and be quick about it before Alfred gets here. Or whatever general he sends. Down and on the other side. Okay, so drop, drop, Eivor. Eivor! Whoa. 
didn't do any looting during the siege, because, you know, you gotta be quick. Now let's go regroup after we grab some rations. <clears throat> Thor lends me strength. Oh, they're up. That makes a lot more sense. Where are the stairs, man? It's here, somewhere. I know it. It must be. My, my. You see? The markings of the Ancient Ones. The Isu, the gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. For who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I have passed through this doorway once before. With Sigurd in a dream. Not once, a thousand times. A thousand. Does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are fogged, shadowed. And yet I I feel their meaning. And the ash tree. I see the great tree of life, her boughs reaching skyward, opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come. King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not for your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can to serve as Please, no. no secrets here. Pleasant is here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia. And we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl, I offer myself. Thank you, Basim. King Alfred. Wait. Hmm. Paladin Fulke, you with this company? 
I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than twenty other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I've got you, pro woman! Yes. I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith that the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. All the gods bless him. What was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away. <laughs> 